What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the world's smallest interchangeable lens camera, the Sony NEX5. So for those of you that have been following me on Twitter, been watching some of my older videos, you know that I am getting married in just a few short weeks. And I wanted to take a great camera with me on my honeymoon, uh, something that was sort of was below a DSLR. I didn't want to carry the bulk and the weight, but I wanted something with a bit more features than a standard point and shoot. I like to take a lot of sh for shots, be able to put them up all over the house, and have some flexibility with how I do the photography and how I can edit the images right on the camera. So enter the NEX5, sort of perfect, and sort of sits right in between the DSLR and a point and shoot. So as I mentioned, this is interchangeable lens system. I use Sony's new E mount. Uh, in this particular kit, I've got an 18 by 55 millimeter lens uh, so some stuff that's included. This has something called sweep panorama. So you actually can take the camera, sweep it all the way around, take a ton of pictures, put them all together right on the camera itself into a 14 megapixel image. That image is actually now going to be in 3D if you have a 3D capable TV. Something kind of interesting. 14.2 uh, megapixels. It shoots video at full 1080. That's 1080i. Uh, ABC HD at 920 by 1080 or MP4 at 1440 by 1080. So go ahead and continue to look around the box. So there's sort of another picture of what we just saw. On um, the back we get a bit of the specs which again I will talk about. Uh, I've got an ISO range of 200 to 12,800 and you get full control over ISO, um, aperture and sort of the rest of the DSLR features that you'd expect. Uh, again, the HD movie. This can use uh, SD or Sony's, of course, uh, memory stick format. It's got optical steady shot and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, this does, again, use Sony's E mount, but you can use any of Sony's existing lenses uh, with an adapter. Let's go ahead and dig in. This particular kit, as I mentioned, has the 18 by 55 millimeter lens. There's also a portrait pancake lens available. Uh, this particular kit is going to run you uh, just shy of $700. So go ahead and open it up. So some additional accessories you might want, no interest there. Here we have some software, which is application software for the Alpha camera. I'm not sure if that's Mac compatible or not, but there it is. Looks like it's only for Windows XP, Vista, or 7. Limited warranty, always important. Lens and accessories. Take a quick look at some of the lenses and accessories that are available. Uh, this particular camera, the NEX5, comes in black or silver. Uh, there's also a model, the NEX3, which is a bit less expensive. Uh, this one has a full, uh, I believe, a magnesium alloy body. The NEX3 is plastic and only shoots video at 720p. Other than that, there really isn't very much differences. So if you're looking for a less expensive entry, uh, the NEX3 is a great camera. So here is the 16 millimeter pancake lens uh, that's available. 18 by 55 millimeter, and there is a 18 by 200 uh, millimeter lens as well that's available. I'm not so sure how it's going to look on a camera this small, but they've got the option. So interchangeable lens camera information guide. Enough about that. Let's go and take a look at what comes in the box. So here we have the flash, I believe. Uh, it's an external flash module. The camera is quite small, so there wasn't much room to include one. I'll show you how this works. It goes ahead and attaches right onto an accessory port. Open it up, turn it on, turn it off, push it back down. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Push that off to the side for right now. What else are we going to get? You're going to get a very elusive and hard to find USB cable. So this is not a FireWire camera, it is USB. We are also going to get a battery charger, which is typical Sony fashion, a little bit on the larger side. You've got a shoulder strap, it does not appear to be the best quality shoulder strap, but you are going to get one. And of course, you're going to get a battery to power your camera. Let's see what battery this is. It is uh, Info Lithium Ion, Sony's W battery. Hopefully this will power it for plenty of time. Uh, 7.2 volts puts it at 1,080 milliamp hour hours, in case anybody was wondering. But enough of the accessories, nobody wants to see those. Let's take a look at the camera itself. And I was looking very closely at either the Canon T2i or the Sony NEX, and I just didn't need uh, or want a full DSLR. I'm certainly a camera novice. Something like this was a bit simpler for me, but still gave me uh, some room to explore photography. This is sort of a step, I guess, in between uh, a full DSLR. I'll go ahead and take this out of the box. 
move the empty but now empty box off the side and take a look at the camera. So again, pull it out. I got the gray model again. It's available in black as well. And here it is, sort of again, the body of a point and shoot, but with the full uh, lens support of a DSLR. It looks like there's also a hood that gets included in the box, although no filter. Uh, there's a hood there. Let's take a bit of a look at the camera. So it's a bit strange to have it jetting out like that, but you do have the option. Uh, there is not an optical viewfinder. That's sort of what separates us from being a full DSLR. You can get an option, an optical viewfinder at the top, but for most Pime, you have to use, I believe, this 3-inch uh, true black display, which actually can swivel up or down. Uh, so you can use it to take high or low shots. If I can get it to swivel down, I believe it also will uh, swivel up. So depending on where you're located, that should be a nice option. All your controls, it's not a touch screen, are done via the buttons on the side. And I'll give you guys a full tour of the camera as I get more comfortable with it. Uh, there's the accessory port where the flash is in. Uh, you can get a microphone or the optical viewfinder is going to go right in. There's a view button, power button. If you want to go jump right into movie, certainly your shutter button. On the bottom, there's the battery compartment and your tripod mount. We've got uh, HDMI out, in case you want to hook this up to a television or a computer, I suppose. And there is your USB port for getting all your information off. And if I were to bet, I would say that the SD card slot is where the battery is. Uh, and indeed it is, and it's also a uh, memory stick slot that can go in there as well. So you actually have the option to pick your format, which is nice to see Sony sort of move away from proprietary. Uh, here is the 1855 millimeter lens. You can see it sort of do its uh, kind of creepy looking thing. Go ahead and take this off. And I will remove the lens here, and I'll show you guys what the sensor looks like very quickly. Again, this is Sony's new E-mount system. I should be able to turn that and pull the lens right off. You can see it is a full DSLR size sensor uh, and a camera whose body is very, very small. Uh, and then, of course, here is the uh, lens itself. Go ahead and put that back on so I don't get any dirt in there right away. Or at least try and put this back on. There we go. And it locks into place. So this is the Sony NEX5. This is sort of an unboxing and first look. Uh, at the camera. I'll definitely do videos and pictures showing you guys performance uh, on everything uh, to see if this was a smart buy, a silly buy, or where it ranks. Uh, hopefully it'll take good enough pictures uh, for a honeymoon that I can decorate my house with and remember for the rest of my life. Uh, anyway, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you in the next video. For all your tech news, you should check out the website, technobuffalo.com, and for all kinds of exclusive content, including giveaways and such, uh, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.